We feel really strongly that we're at a nexus in the whole IP industry. Things are changing so fast in terms of uh, the patent world, but uh, also joining forces with that are things happening in the technology world, where new things are possible, and the marriage of CPA and anography really underscores the possibilities there. So we wanted to codify what we think the next decade of IP management should look like. And this white paper pulls together all the forces that we've, we see happening in the industry, all the possibilities that are now there in front of us, and uh, almost a roadmap for how together we can approach it. The vision in the paper is really around uh, improving the decisions that are made all along the IP life cycle and uh, gaining better results, whether it's quality, return on investment, uh, decrease investment or cost, uh, at every step along the way, which along the life cycle can have a huge positive impact. And then what's necessary to do that is to have the internal information from the IPMS plus uh, the best external in information from monography to get the full context of decisions, whether it's filing or prosecuting maintaining, licensing, etc. And so the white paper goes through how that is all pulled together now in our vision and where we're going in our future product roadmaps. IP professionals should care because their whole goal is to build intellectual property assets within the enterprise and to protect the enterprise from risks that are uh, emerge from intellectual property of others. And to do that most effectively, now there's a new possibility to be even more informed and to make even uh, better decisions uh, at every step along the way and have even more efficient processes. And uh, by doing all of that, also turning the attention even more to the business and helping the business proactively manage these risks and generate the best assets possible.